So after many many patches that we have had, I actually don't believe this still works. What we have here is basically an easy way to get yourself infinite obols, which results in you being able to farm aspects as well as get easy legendaries, gold and XP. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Before we go any further guys, this video is sponsored by MitchCactus.com. If you guys are looking to get ahead in Diablo 4, Mitch Cactus is a great, legit online service that can assist you in many, many different ways. Whether you need all your Lilith statues collected, a full campaign completion, help getting to a certain power level or quick access to world tier 4, Mitch Cactus has you covered with over 7,000 Trustpilot reviews back in this service. This website is linked down below. Use code DPJ for 5% off. Okay, so this is a farm I posted a while back, way before any of these nerfy patches came into play. And well, I decided to test this again because previously it was the quickest way to get certain aspects I was looking for, for that end game gear. So how this works for those that do not know is by abusing a method in finding an infinite event farm. An event which 9 times out of 10 is always here and at the same time is so so easy and fast to complete. It rewards you XP, a chest which obviously has that loot as well as those obols. So come to this waypoint on the map guys and make your way down here. Once you are here, simply complete this event. Once you have, simply collect that loot and then fast travel back to that town. Upon your arriving back at town, guys, you simply re-enter that teleporter and travel back. Again, 9 times out of 10, there will be another event waiting for you to take part in. And you can simply rinse and repeat this farm until you are maxed out on obols, which is what you want to be doing here. You can then go sell that loot that you've also collected at the same time from the chest and those enemies that you will be killing. And then guys will visit that gambler and spend those obols. Now to farm specific aspects, you obviously want to purchase specific items you know those aspects drop on. In doing this, you will eventually see the aspects you have been chasing. This is a method I have used to rack up those aspects and keep many, many spares within my stash for when I do eventually get to that better end game gear. So yeah, guys, take advantage of this amazing farm, which again is still in the game for you to abuse. On that note, guys, the end of the video has arrived. A short but sweet one today. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.